Hey YouTube, Droid Review here. Um, Alright, it's here. We're done. We've done our rooting. We've done our Android backup. We've updated the recovery tool. Now it's finally time to install this custom ROM. Um, one that I'm going to be using um, is going to be the Smoked Glass ROM. Um, it's, it's, you can find it on the alldroid.org form under Adam, Adam's ROMs. Um, that's usually where I go and I think pretty much everyone goes to find all their custom ROMs. Um, those are where they're usually post first. They have the most support I think there. Um, they're shot around all over the Android forum market so I mean um, you can find them pretty much on every Android forum um, out there for the most part. But uh, www.alldroid.org is the uh, main location to find them. So um, as you see in the show notes to the right there um, please select more info to view steps and download links and everything uh, because you should have to download um, uh, the actual ROM first and I put the link in there for you so uh, make sure you download it save it to your desktop um, another thing that you're gonna want to download um, that I'll show you right now um, is it is a paid app unfortunately but it's extremely worth it um, because um, this actual application is going to allow you to overclock your phone, which is awesome. Um, and this ROM supports overclocking. So it is a paid app. Um, I think it was 99 cents. I can't remember. Um, but let's go ahead and um, install it. It's going to be called Set CPU for Root um, Users. Set CPU, all one word. Um, it's a great program. It's found in the Android market. Um, it does cost, I think, 99 cents. Um, but this allows you to um, uh, overclock your phone. So let's go ahead and um, uh, install that one while we're doing. And um, next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and grab our trusted USB cable, like usual. Plug it in. I'm assuming that we have the file downloaded, guys, to your desktop of the actual ROM. I gave you the link there in the show notes. So let's go ahead and mount. All right, so we're mounted. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down, and we're going to copy the actual ROM to the um, to the phone itself. Okay, so I'll show you exactly what to do. All right, so here we are. Um, this looks familiar. Obviously, this is our our uh, SD card with our root. Um, down here is our Nandroid folder. Here's our backup that we created. Um, all we got to do is once we download this 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 file right here. Um, this one's going to be called the smoked glass ROM. It's going to be a zip file, so we have to extract it. So let's go ahead and open it up here. It's going to bring it up. Okay, so let's click on it. Let's go ahead and extract it to the desktop. Click OK. So it's going to do its thing here. Remember, it is an 87 meg file, so please, um, it, it, it might take, depending on what kind of connection you have, it might take a little bit to download. Uh, for those of us with the luxuries of a nice internet connection, it only takes a few seconds. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and close that down. So now um, we actually have, now we have a folder here. As you can see, it's not a zip file anymore. It's a folder, okay? We're not going to go inside the folder and mess with any of these files in here. So don't mess with anything inside the folder. Don't rename anything. Just leave this how it is. You can rename the actual folder itself to just smoke glass if you uh, prefer not to have all those numbers right there. Um, but it's up to you. I usually just keep them like that. Just like I said, don't edit anything inside here, okay? Now this is the important part, okay? So here's our SD card on our droid. Let's go ahead and open up the Nandroid folder. Okay, now that that's open, all you got to do is copy this folder over to the Nandroid folder, okay? Once it's copied, um, you're good to go, and we can go and install this ROM. But just a quick side note, because everyone's going to end up doing this, and you're going to say, oh, it didn't work, it didn't work. You cannot put this file in any other subfolder. It has to go directly on the root of your Nandroid folder, if that makes sense, meaning smoke glass folder goes directly inside the Nandroid folder, not in any other folders. So please, please remember that. Um, that is the biggest issue with people installing custom ROMs is they always, you know, they'll create new folders and all, you know, you know, my ROMs and retail ROMs and uh, Adam's ROMs. You can't do that. Um, 
you can have it like that on the root of your SD card, but there's no reason because you can have them on your computer, you know, over here. Like I just have, you know, Droid stuff. That's got all my uh, flash images, recoveries, um, ROMs, custom stuff, APKs, all that. Um, so just like I said, just bring it right over and you'll be good to go, okay? So um, what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and close this down and we'll head back to the phone, okay? All right. So now, let's go ahead and unplug this. All right. So now all we have to do is take a wild guess. We just reboot in recovery. All right? So I'll see you guys back in a minute in recovery mode. Remember, we just push, um, push and hold the uh, power button and the X button at the same time when it's restarting. Okay? See you guys in a minute. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hopefully, you're all in this menu right now. All we did was turn off the phone and turn it back on in recovery mode by pushing the power and the X button at the same time. Um, all right, so all we got to do now is install the, um, the new ROM. Real easily, we're going to go into, using the volume keys, go into backup and restore using the camera button for enter. So click on backup restore. Click on advanced Nandroid restore. So we're going to use the restore option this time. Um, now we're going to click on choose backup. So let's go ahead and click backup. Now it's going to be, see, um, there it is right there. It's kind of hard to see there, but smoke glass uh, version 4, which is awesome. It's right there. Um, and then you can also see that I have my retail backup. Basically, this is what's going to be inside your Nandroid folder. So let's go ahead and click on smoke glass with the camera button. So click on it. Um, we're going to basically, I'm going to keep everything here. Um, the uh, like how it is we're not going to do anything we're not going to uh, check mark anything this time okay guys so let's go ahead and just click on perform restore with the camera button and it's going to do its thing right here it's saying restoring so we'll go ahead and wait it out I guess when this is done guys I'll come right back okay Okay, so we're back. All right, it's done. It says done down there. Um, that, that took only about, about a minute or two. So let's go ahead and use the power button to get out of here. Get all the way out. Now let's go up to reboot system now and see the goods. So let's click this camera button right here to do that. I'll probably stay on the camera here just to show you um, exactly what happens. So usual Motorola logo coming up right now. All right, so it's saying Droid, a little custom animation there. Whoa, we had a little blue red, or blue eye, and now we have, <clears throat> excuse me, a pretty cool-ass custom boot animation. It's from the Nexus One, guys. I'm sure you guys know that. So that's actually in the ROM. So, so far, so good. You know, my phone's not catching on fire. My, you know, my phone's not smoking. It's not doing anything crazy. But this really cool, you know, boon animation here. Um, so, like I said, guys, there's nothing wrong with doing this. It's, in fact, really fun to tweak, tweak your phone and do different custom things with your phone. It's doing something here. All right. So, right off the bat, um, you know, you, you can notice I have a blue lock button. So, and then we also have an orange. So that's custom right there, right off the bat. So we know it's already installed. It's going to bring you up a, um, a, a, a basically list of what you wanted, what kind of home screen you want. So I'm going to click on the launcher because that's going to be the most coolest looking one. And here it is, guys. This is it. We're going to have a ton of different screens to choose from. Um, obviously, if you had any widgets that were running in the foreground before, they're not going to be working right off the bat. Um, so you know, we have um, the custom five screen right there. Um, we have the custom Android 2.1 um, app tray, I should say, with the scrolling effects. Um, it's going to have the new gallery, I'm assuming. Uh, let's go ahead and look into it real quick, see. Um, yep, see, new gallery. We got the new gallery with the 3D effects. Granted, um, this is going to be... Um, like you know kind of slow at first but um you um when your rom completely gets done loading and stuff like that you'll be fine um oops 
Um, but this is it, guys. So I'm running out of time real quick, but that's how to basically do it. Um, I, I think I'll do... Oh, look, there's a custom browser icon that we didn't... I didn't even notice that from last time. Okay, anyways, running way out of time, guys. But um, this is the smoked glass ROM that we did. Um, I'm going to show one more video on this uh, of a complete, a complete detail and breakdown of this ROM with overclocking. Granted, I've been running 950 megahertz stable for two weeks now. I haven't had one problem yet. My phone doesn't heat up. Um, so this phone is a beast. It can handle a lot. It's stocked at 550 megahertz, and I'm running at 950 megahertz most of the time. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. This is it. This is what we've all been waiting for. Um, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section. I'll get right back to you. Stay tuned for the next video where I show you guys how to overclock. Thanks for watching.